Hey guys, so if pride is a sin, what does pride look like? If um, hopelessness is not of the Lord, what does that look like? See, a lot of these things, they're not necessarily sins, but they are bad. Right, And I think back to the story of Cain and Abel. We were talking about this earlier in my men's group. And we were just talking about how Cain and Abel, you know, like Jesus, or uh, God's talking to Cain and says, Look, you know, like, if you do what is right, won't you be accepted? But sin is crouching at your door and it desires to have you. You have to reign over it. So we see that sin wasn't what was in, what, what was going on. Like, that's not the reason the sacrifice wasn't accepted. We see that there is something in his heart, though. So whenever we see something like pride, pride is interesting because you can have pride and show it off by the way you open a door. You can show hopelessness by the way you open a door. It's not about the action. Most of the time we think about sin and we think about things that God doesn't like and we think about the actions, but we don't think about the heart as much. And so I just want to kind of challenge you on something. Cain is being told this by God, not because he necessarily sees it himself. It might be that someone else is able to see it better. When we talk about our need for discipleship, and I just want to encourage, sometimes other people can see our mess better than we can. Because we've grown up in it, because we've been around it for so long, or you know, because we have people that, you know, like it's everything that we've ever seen. And so we don't realize it. But there's something in our heart that's going to produce something bad. Hey, sin is crouching at our door. And it's not because necessarily we want to, but it's because something's not right in there. And sometimes those other people are the best people for it. This is another call for the need of discipleship. Sometimes people around you are going to see things that, that you're going to miss. And, and I think God does that on purpose. I think God talks to to Cain here and tells him this on purpose, not because, you know, he, it's because he needed to know. Cain didn't know. He thought, hey, look, here's some beautiful vegetables. He didn't know that there was something wrong in his heart. That's why the, the sacrifice wasn't accepted. So that being said, get in there. Get in discipleship. Get around somebody. Man, my men's group early was great. And, you know, like just... Be able to be vulnerable and allow them to share things with you. Don't reject them outright, but just say, hmm, God, what's the truth in this? Thanks for taking a minute.